Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking the opportunity to look at the Elgato Wave microphones and setting them up to work alongside third-party applications such as Voice Mod, RTX Voice, or if you have any additional tools such as Reaper plugins or anything like that that help kind of fine-tune your microphone and you want them to be processed prior to going into the Wavelink software. In today's test, we'll be showing you using the voice mod application, but really the simple step will show you exactly how to do it with any application based on how you set them up and have them configured. And it's, it's a real simple tutorial. We're going to get right into it today though. So let's get over and show you how to do this. Hey guys, before we get too far into today's tutorial, I just wanted to take an opportunity to welcome all of you that are new to the channel. My name is Chris, I'm your dad next door, and I wanted to say thank you for checking out this video here today. If you enjoy this type of content, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are having a really great time here and this video is amazing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can provide alerts for you for all new videos that are coming from this channel. For those that are looking back on previous videos, we do provide microphone reviews and things like that, as well as little tech tips for new content creators or streamers that are coming out and trying to figure out how to optimize their setups to the best of their ability. And now that my introduction's done, let's get on with the rest of the video. So for the first part of this video here, you can see that I have the Elgato Wavelink software up and then I have the free version of Voice Mod currently active. And I'll show you exactly what Voice Mod does if you're not familiar with it. It is a free tool that you can go in and just apply quick little voice changer effects. Um, again, I do have this currently set up for my Shure PGA 27, but you know, this is exactly what happens with this blocks effect. Or if you want to do these magical chords, I, I'm i not a huge user of this software. I just wanted to have it here for the test effects, you know, to show you guys exactly what it sounds like or what it can do. Um, and it was easy for me to grab to use for this testing purpose. So now let's go through the process of how to actually configure the Wavelink software to read the voice changer software before, so that way we can apply it to our stream volume appropriately. In order to accomplish this setup here, we have to go into, first we're gonna change over to voice uh, mod, and then we're gonna go over and set up the Wavelink software to accept the voice mod changes. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into settings here for voice mod, and we're going to find our input device. We're going to change it to mic one or mic in. I apologize. Mic in, which is going to be for the Elgato microphone. If I mute it, you see that input device turns off. If I unmute it, it comes back on. And then we go back down to output device. The output device that you're going to select is going to be whichever sound source you are going to use for the input inside of Wavelink. So for us in this configuration here today, we're going to be using the sound effects source. So we go to Wavelinks SFX, hit the application here to change it to that. And that's all we need to do inside of voice mod. So now voice mod is configured to work with our Wavelink software. We're going to go over to, ooh, I do apologize. There is one additional switch you need to turn on. You need to make sure that voice mod is actually outputting the sound from itself to your uh, to your Wavelink software. So you need to make sure you turn Hear My Voice on, and we can disable this when we're going, but you wanna make sure that this is set up here in the, uh, in the initial part. The next feature you wanna have here is under channel six or whichever channel you're adding it to, you're going to add, and immediately now you should see that the Elgato is currently already reading the sound effects portal, and you can see the Wave 3 and the SFX should be right about the same speed um, now, applying software like this can add a small amount of delay to your source, so you may need to adjust some camera sources or something like that, but we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Elgato real fast just to show you how the voice modulation works and that it's actually operating properly. And here you go, a microphone test with the Elgato. Using the Titan voice, we are now testing out the Titan voice. And now we are going to test out the Blocks voice, just to see what that sounds like. Here is the Blocks voice. Uh, we are now on Magic Chords, just to see what this sounds like. Hopefully all these are working properly. We're going to find out as soon as I get out of this test. And now we're back on to no effects again, just to show you that that is working as intended. 
So that ultimately completes our quick tutorial today on how to configure your Elgato Wave microphone to work with third-party voice modulation software. Again, this could also work with RTX voice, just applying those two sound sources to match in the same exact way. I hope you found this video simple and informative and it showed you how to use your Wave 3 with some other cool tools that allow you to enhance your content or have a fun, silly stream sometimes that just builds the production level of it and makes it an awesome experience. Um, with that, I'm going to go figure out something else to record because I'm just having so fun working with these microphones. And if you guys really enjoy this video today, please remember to hit that thumbs up button. It, it means so much to me when you do. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you have any issues with it, please feel free to leave them at the bottom of the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel and check out our other microphone reviews and other tech tips that we've got in our playlist on the channel as well. With that, my name is Chris. I'm your dad next door, and I will check you guys next time.